Hello everyone, this is First in Weather. Welcome to my 2017-2018 Winter Forecast Part 3. This video will be covering the PDO and also for the first time uh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what I think this winter could be like. Again, it's a very prelimi preliminary forecast, so it's not very specific, it's very general, and uh, I'll make sure to have more details about this winter as, we, as I head into future videos. Uh, by October or uh, early November, uh, I should have snowfall forecasts regarding above average, below average, uh, and uh, accurate precipitation and temperature forecasts. But uh, without further ado, here is my PDO slash winter 2017-2018 uh, forecast part 3. So the Pacific Decadal, uh, Decadal Oscillation uh, has, two main, has two phases. So you have the positive warm phase and then you have the negative cold phase. So think of it like a horseshoe shape. The positive phase is featured by warmer than average waters. Uh, on the western coast of the United States with a big pool of cooler than average waters uh, just the west of that, w west of that and as you can see that resembles a horseshoe sh uh, a horseshoe shape excuse me bit of a tongue twister there but the negative phase as you can see is the exact opposite you have much cooler than average waters uh, west of uh, North America and then more and then um, West of that, you have above average waters. One thing you might notice here is that usually a negative PDO phase is associated with uh, new is associated with neutral to La Nina conditions. And the way it's looking like right now uh, for the winter of 2017-2018, uh, it's looking like we're going to see uh, negative Enzo conditions. So water temperatures are going to be running from 0 to negative 0 0.5 Celsius, which is still in the Enzo range, but it's in the negative Enzo range. And so uh, if we move on, uh, this is the current sea surface temperature map of the entire globe. As you can see right now, we have, uh, again, negative Enzo conditions. We have essentially neutral conditions right here. This has been a really interesting spot to watch because for the past uh, few months now, past year or so, this area has been steadily cooling. If some of you, some of you might remember, in the winters of 2015, 2016, 2014, 2015, I'm not sure if I'm correct, but in a couple of winters that we had in the past few years, the PDO was very strong in the positive phase. You had well above average waters west of the coast and then west of that you had well below average waters it was just overall a very well defined PDO and that was um, a big player in making that big trough in the east and that big ridge in the west well right now and for the past few months these waters have been steadily cooling actually and so if we look at the seven day anomaly change in sea surface temperatures sea surface temperatures we can see that <clears throat> We have cooling waters right here, and then we also have cooling waters right here. So again, that's resembling the horseshoe shape. And then we have warming waters right here. And as you can see, a negative PDO is resembled by warmer waters over here and cooler waters over here. So we're seeing cooling on both sides now, and we're seeing the warming of waters over here. So that definitely is a sign that we're going to see we have good chances of seeing a neutral to negative PDO. And so if we move on to the next image, this is generally uh, what a negative P or yeah, negative, excuse me, positive PDO brings to the United States, generally cooler conditions in the east, warmer conditions in the west. And a negative PDO is the exact opposite, warmer conditions in the south and southeast and cooler conditions in the northwest. And so uh, something that's interesting is for July, the PDO index was at negative 0.41. I'll repeat that again, negative 0.41. That is a stark contrast from the 2.38, the 2.56, the, the values that we had a couple of years ago with that really strong PDO. And I think that's definitely going to be a big player in our winter this year. So now I'm going to show you my first forecast very basic forecast for this winter 
and this is not going to be this is not just based off the PDO it's also based on many other factors and this is only going to be a temperature forecast but again I'm basing it off uh, the NAO forecast PDO forecast uh, Enzo forecast and other factors factors that will become more clear uh, as we head on into October and early November so here it is right now I'm predicting uh, above average temperatures in the southwestern and uh, portions of the southeastern um, of the southeast and so it's looking like southwestern Texas southern New Mexico southeastern Arizona have a pretty good chance of seeing above average temperatures uh, and some of these areas could see well above average temperatures while the areas in the yellow uh, should see slightly above average temperatures as we as we move on into the northwest I am relatively confident that um, places like northwestern North Dakota northern Idaho uh, I mean excuse me Idaho and uh, fringes of uh, Wyoming should see below average conditions uh, regarding temperatures I think these are this area will see uh, frequent cold, uh, frequent um, cold snaps with uh, above average con uh, chances for above average snowfall. While I think this area in the light blue should see uh, slightly below average temperatures. As for the area in the white, which is a lot, uh, right now I'm just quite frankly uncertain about what's going to happen. Uh, I'm especially uncertain about what's going to happen in the northeast and southeast. This entire area is just very uncertain for me. Uh, some factors are pointing to a cooler winter, some are uh, pointing to a record warm winter. Just, um, I'm going to need more time uh, to probably by early November to get a good grasp of this region. But right now, I have high confidence in the fact that this area is going to see below average temperatures and that this area is going to see above average temperatures. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, um, put it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.